This is my Mandel Madness. I made it, it was three years ago, I guess, during the crochet along, but I didn't start the crochet along when the crochet along started, if you get my drift. So I did like uh, seven weeks and eight days, or eight weeks and seven days, or something like that, before I kind of crashed and then slowed down. So I finished it on July 27th. Um, even though the crochet along, I think, ended in, in June. So I was a little late, but it was fun doing it with the other people, and a lot of people weren't keeping up with it exactly either, so that was no problem. So for anybody who ha hasn't heard of Mandela Madness, here are the details. Um, I Helen Shrimpton. She is Crystals and Crochet. And there were YouTube videos by the whole, of the whole thing um, done by Esther. In, uh, she is all in a shell on YouTube, and she has a, a, a blog by that same name. And then um, Facebook group for Helen's is Helen's Hookaholics. That's a designer-specific group run by Helen, and so you can act, ask questions of the actual designer for any of her things, and she answers very promptly and nicely. She is not at all irritated by people asking questions so um and if you want to see some still pictures of this you can you know you can go to the link for the um <clears throat> for the pattern on, on ravelry but for mine you can go to ravelry and find me as anwit i am not a designer so you have to find me just as a plain old person okay so i just uh i called mine we gave them names that was uh, if you're going to do this design, reading Helen's blog about it on Crystals and Crochet, the weekly blog that went with the releases, gives a lot of nice information and kind of makes you feel like you're part of it. So there was a point at which she suggested naming them, and uh, so I named mine Easter Candy. Um, there are some, some kind of hard eggs, that colored eggs that you can get uh, at Easter. And, that's what it reminded me of. And I used uh, baby yarns. And when I started out, I had some yarn because uh, a lady asked me to make some booties for her baby. And I so I started with what I had left because I didn't really have any other plans. So I just picked that up and started. And uh, so I used a lot of baby bee. And you see here, this is a multicolor. And I actually have used two different Baby B multicolors in here, a darker one and a lighter one. And I think they really, they're really nice highlight. I don't like to use multicolored yarn for a whole thing, but um, for a plain row as a highlight, I think it, I think it adds to it. And so then here is the, the lighter colored one. That you can barely see there's any color, but it, it gives it kind of depth and texture. And um, I used this banana color on on these highlight. And if I was to do it again, I think I would go with the sun kiss, which is just a little lighter, but I think it would have looked better. But maybe not, you know. Sometimes you need to throw something wild in to bring out the rest of it. And my favorite yarn, I guess out of this is this pale yellow which has a shine to it and it really makes these yellow features stand out these over here really stand out and uh, when the sun lights on them look really pretty and this is a red heart so yes i do mix brands uh it's red heart baby tlc i'm showing the white which i didn't use because i don't have the wrapper for the yellow so just to give you an idea. And I also, the, um, the green, this green is also that brand. And it makes real nice, uh, real nice, thick, slightly shiny highlights. And uh, I don't know if I said that already, but I used a 3.25 millimeter Susan Bates hook. It's a, a little small, maybe, you would think, but... Uh, I think it worked pretty well. It's it gives a tight gives a tight um, gives tight stitches. There we go. 
And because of that, mine is not huge. A lot of people who've done this have done it in uh, worsted weight. Some have done it red heart and so forth. And it, it gets huge. It gets queen bed size. And here you can see this is not, not quite as big as my single bed here. But it's just fine. You know, it makes a nice little bed cover. You can see the whole design. And if I pulled on it, it would it would reach. <laughs> it would reach from one end to the other, I think. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna just go in a little bit and show some more of the detail. Because in case you have never done Mandela Madness, this is this is something to try. It's fun. Um, Helen does these things called folding stitches where you make a long stitch and then you uh, on the next row you do single and bend it back to where it was it makes this little ridge like this and she's also very fond of uh, long stitches <laughs> and they can get a little bit scary sometimes because they do tend to leave a gap at the top if you haven't had a lot of practice with them but she kindly goes along on the next row and provides a a post stitch to go around it and tighten it up so it's nothing to panic over. And the other thing, if you've not done any of Helen's designs, is that uh, they will have they will have height differences. They they will not lay flat. So you know you get to this point right here and you go, oh, it's not laying flat. I must have done something wrong. No, you didn't. <laughs> Her stuff doesn't lay flat. So, um, and because of that, you can't really substitute stitches or do something different and, and wing it because it will kind of mess up everything from there on so just a couple of cautions but it is one of the most fun designs you can possibly do so if you've never done it uh it is free it has photos with the with the pattern it's a photo tutorial lots of good photos and as i said it has it has youtube tutorials so what more can you ask for? Oh, yes, you can ask for the Facebook group where you can go and actually talk to Helen. <laughs> and she has so many great designs. If you haven't looked at them, they are wonderful. She did, uh, I did her Cosmic Cal as a vest. There's a video that shows that. Um, and I did several other of her things that I don't have to show you because they're gone now. But anyway. So that is my Mandela Madness Easter candy. Just doing the center is so cute. You could just do the center as a, uh, a pillow. You know, sew it to the front of a pillow, round pillow.